Hello, welcome to Hutchinson Health's Preparing for Your Hip or Knee Surgery Education Session. I am Hannah Gartner, a physical therapist from Hutchinson Health Rehab. This class will be about 15 minutes long and is intended to help you better understand your upcoming surgery and plans for after surgery. You are able to watch this video as many times as you would like and please share it with those helping you with your rehabilitation after surgery. We want you to feel prepared and confident in the care you will be receiving at Hutchinson Health. You have received a book that includes all of the information in this class, so you can reference it as needed before and after surgery. Please bring this book to the hospital on the day of surgery. In your book, under the Preparing for Surgery tab, there's a preparation checklist to review. This has tasks to complete prior to your surgery. Please take a look at these as you are strongly encouraged to complete them. This will make your recovery that much easier and less stressful. Under the same tab, there's a medication list. Please fill it out prior to surgery and bring it with you on the day of surgery. Please complete the preoperative worksheet found in the front inside pocket of your book. This worksheet will help identify whether or not you may need additional assistance at discharge and if you are able to return home directly from the hospital. This will help you plan for this decision ahead of time rather than after surgery, though we certainly know the plans can change. Please bring this checklist with you to the hospital on the day of surgery. Please familiarize yourself with the precautions specific to your surgery. If you are having surgery on your hip, these precautions may include, depending on the surgery, not bending your hip greater than 90 degrees, not crossing your legs at the knee or ankle, and not turning your hip inward or pivoting the surgical leg, or not extending your leg behind you, not crossing your leg at the knee or ankle, and not rotating your hip or toes outward. If you are having surgery on your knee, precautions may include avoiding kneeling on that surgical knee. The precautions specific to your surgery are listed in the book you were provided under the Rehabilitation Information tab. The length of time you must follow these precautions is determined by your physician after surgery at the follow-up visit in the clinic. Under the Preparing for Your Surgery tab, you will find a list of items to bring to the hospital the day of surgery. You can look through these on your own. Some items to highlight include your insurance card, this book, loose-fitting clothes, non-skid shoes, and medications you take unless otherwise instructed. This may include inhalers, special creams, eye drops, or CPAP machines. You should have received a cleaning solution from your surgeon already. If you haven't, please contact your surgeon's office to get this. The solution will help reduce the risk of infection. Please read the directions carefully. Use half the bottle the night before the surgery and use the remaining half of the bottle the next morning. Overnight, make sure you have clean clothes and bedding on your bed. Avoid getting the cleaning solution on any mucous membranes on your face and avoid the groin area. Also, avoid shaving your legs for three days prior to surgery. On the day of your surgery, you will start in the same day surgery room. While in the same day surgery room, you may have additional cleansing completed. There, they will start your IV and the CRNA will meet you along with your surgical team to review your anesthesia plan during surgery. All of your belongings will be bagged with your name on the bag and taken to the hospital room by the hospital staff. After meeting with your surgical team, you will travel to a few different rooms prior to the operating room for multiple safety checks prior to the actual surgery. Your surgery will take about 60 to 90 minutes. Following your surgery, you will be moved to the recovery room, also known as the PACU. You will stay there for about an hour as you wake up from the anesthesia and prepare to be moved to your hospital room. Following your surgery, you will have leg sleeves with sequential pumps placed on both legs. These generally inflate and deflate periodically to reduce your risk of blood clots. Your oxygen level will be monitored by a clip on your finger or your toes. Your heart rate will be monitored through pads on your chest, and you will have an IV in your arm or hand for pain management. You will be given an inspiration spirometer that looks like this. You will be trained on how to use this after surgery. The inspiration spirometer should be used every one to two hours to decrease the risk of respiratory complications such as pneumonia. More information can be found under the Your Hospital Stay tab. 
Depending on the rate of your recovery, you will stay in the hospital one to two days. As of 2019, Medicare guidelines indicate that most patients should expect to be discharged within one to two days postoperatively. Social services will be available for assistance with discharge planning if you are not able to directly return home from the hospital. During your hospitalization, you will receive both physical and occupational therapy. You may bring your own walking devices, such as a walker and a cane, if you would like. We will be happy to help you properly adjust them to fit you. In the hospital, walkers with front wheels only is often the safest place to start for walking. Following your procedure, your surgeon will generally let you put as much weight on the surgical leg as you can tolerate. This is called weight bearing as tolerated. Physical therapy will focus on getting you moving as well as strengthening for your knee or hip. Occupational therapy will focus on activities of daily living, such as teaching you how to get dressed and assuring you can safely complete toileting and bathing. Therapy will start as soon as possible after surgery and you will have about two to four therapy sessions each day you are in the hospital. Under the Rehabilitation Information tab, there are pictures and descriptions of exercises specific to the surgery you will be having. Please practice these prior to your surgery. It will help you go into surgery as strong as possible, resulting in a better outcome. These will be the same exercises you will perform following your surgery. Following your surgery, you may need adaptive equipment at home to maintain your specific precautions and improve your independence. Some recommendations for equipment include a walker and a cane that you will progress to in the weeks following your surgery. Other adaptive equipment that may be recommended is a reacher, a transfer tub chair, and a raised toilet seat. In addition, if you are having hip surgery, a dressing stick, long shoehorn, and sock aid may also come in handy. You will learn how to use this adaptive equipment from your occupational therapist. You can now turn to the pain management tab in your book. You will transition from IV to oral medications while in the hospital. You will have pain following your surgery. This is very normal. The pain will feel different than the pain that caused you to seek surgery and will get better. It is important to keep your pain under good control so you can get moving and participate with therapy. Hospital staff will ask you multiple times each day what your level of pain is on a zero to 10 scale to help assure the medications are working for you. It is important to continue to take your pain medication as prescribed following discharge. Remember that using ice packs are wonderful for pain relief. We do not expect you to have any complications after surgery, but it is important once you are at home to watch for signs of infection in your incision. Early identification is key to treat any infection quickly. Keep your bandages on until you return to your surgeon in the clinic. You are able to shower with a dressing in place. It is meant to get wet, but please don't soak it in the water or bathtub and be sure to pat it dry after showering. Please call your surgeon's office with any questions or concerns regarding the incision following the surgery. Finally, here are a few reminders. A nurse will call you one to two days prior to your surgery to inform you of your scheduled time of surgery any medications to take or not to take before your surgery, and review your medical history and answer any questions you may have. If you have any additional questions, now is the time to ask. Please call the Hutchinson Health Orthopedic and Rehab Clinic at 320-484-4400 to talk to your preoperative physical therapist. We are here to help you and prepare you for your upcoming surgery. Your educational book has a lot of resources that are not discussed in detail in this class, including surgical information specific to your surgery, information about assistive devices and adaptive equipment, along with discharge and medication information. Please familiarize yourself with this book and don't forget to bring it on the day of surgery. As a reminder, your assignments are to complete the preparation checklist, complete the medication list and bring it with you to the hospital, complete the pre-operative worksheet and bring it with you to the hospital, put your ice packs in the freezer, and practice your exercises. Thank you for entrusting Hutchinson Health with your care. We look forward to providing you with exceptional service.